Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at AMC Entertainment, things about AMC and Ape. In this video, we are going to be talking about how AMC got a type 3 squeeze rating and how this normally indicates short sellers will be forced to cover. We're also going to be talking about the gamma flip for AMC and a huge upside move it has and many more in this video. So make sure you guys watch until the very end. As always, we're going to be taking a look at the chart for Ape, Ape and AMC first because it's the Sunday outlook. We're going to talk about what I expect to see and what I want to see from AMC. So going off of last week, like we talked about, it was close to that 0% movement for the last day. But nevertheless, if we look at it from a weekly perspective, it was still a very good close. We closed above the previous high, the previous um, close of the week. We closed above the previous high of the week. And we closed above 596, which was a pivotal zone for AMC. And so normally when we see breaking this zone, we are of course seeing upside movement, which is exactly what we saw. But this goes on to our next point of, we then are seeing massive momentum to try and press AMC downwards, trying to suppress AMC from going up as we go closer towards that 687 and of course 703. So going into this week, something that I do want to talk about is the possible movements as well and what I expect to see. So what I think is very likely to happen again with the fundamentals that I will be also talking about later on is to really see AMC to try to break that 6.23 and actually see it contest the zone coming in at 687 and 703. Now the $7 will be a huge, huge part as well, which again, like I said, make sure you guys watch until the very end because we are of course all gonna be covering it in this video. So that is of course another zone. And so this week, I think we are very likely to be testing 687 and 703 zone. Now, the thing we gotta bear in mind is we didn't close above 623, so it still shows that the buying momentum is not gonna be as strong coming in. We also have, of course, the Friday, where we saw the price push all the way down. And so what is likely to gonna be happen is something of a similar movement where we saw in last week as well, where even though we have bias momentum coming in on the Friday, we closed above the zone, we are potentially gonna be seeing a red bar on the first day. So what's very likely is actually a dip below 596. Now, if the pressure is strong enough, we could actually even see a bounce on the 547 and 556 zone. This is a possible situation situation and this is something we definitely should be expecting but like normally just because it's a red day doesn't mean it's the end of the world last week amc started off with a red day we even broke below 505 but you guys can obviously see how the rest of the week ended up and so if we do see this happening for AMC, the area we have to be looking out for is how we react if it were to break below 596. And of course, is it bouncing off of that 556 and 547? But nevertheless, like I said, there are many, many strong fundamentals going into next week as well, which normally under normal circumstances should increase the price of a particular stock. But like I said, with AMC, it's of course different. But when you understand that, you will understand the technical analysis, the price movement at this point is not a true indication, not a true reflection of the current price of AMC. So that is one thing. But what I expect to see is, of course, the actual test towards that 687 and 703. Now, what do I want to see? There's two things I do want to see happening for AMC in the next week. One thing is a very small, small objective is where even if we don't see massive price movement in the next week, as long as we can close above 623 with a good close and even close above the previous high we made last week at 677, that will be very good. But the next big thing that I do want to see is, of course, the close above 7 dollars if we are able to get a weekly close above the seven dollars which again is actually not out of the window and if we do see that that would be extremely important for amc because then it's really looking like upside movement for amc now if we take a look at eight now Ape on the other hand is of course doing very very well as well we closed last week and this was a very very strong candle we made pretty much a new high for the end of the week we closed above the 279 and 276 zone which was another area of resistance that was stopping price previously for ape but now we're breaking it so the next movement what we're likely to be looking at is of course the test coming in at the two, the 335 and 343. And so do it be expecting resistance as we go close towards that area. But if we are able to break above that area, the next sort of resistance that I think we'll be looking at will be somewhere close around 383 and $4 area. It, if we take a look back at previously and look at this area over here, we can see that there was a lot of volatile movement. We can even see this particular candle, of course, seeing a massive wick bar. So there is a lot of volume. There is a lot of orders in this area that we are currently facing 
increasing, but if we are able to break above it, it will obviously be smooth sailing for Ape. And like I said, it is doing its way to catch up the price with AMC. Right now, Ape is at 301 and AMC at 608. So there's still a difference of $3.07 in between. So do of course bear that in mind. But let's take a look at the news for AMC going to next week, which I think is very, very important. Now, the first thing we have is from Frank Tay. So what he talks about is, AMC stock yesterday got a short squeeze type three rating. This on average only happens three times per year. This happened in March, August, and November, and that same signal happened Friday. Autix gave AMC a type three short squeeze rating, the highest rating you can have. Now, if we take go down and look at what a normal type three short um, squeeze is. So in a type three short squeeze, the short squeeze is initiated by a combination of factors, including the increase in buying pressure, rumors of speculation about the company and an increase in the overall demand for stocks. So when we take a look at this, firstly, buying pressure is checked. Rumors of speculations about the company is also checked and increase in the overall demand for stocks is again, always been there. The res this results in a rapid increase in the stock price, which forces short sellers to cover their positions, which inputs further upward pressure on the price. This type of short squeeze can be volatile and can result in significant losses for short sellers and huge gains for long investors. So that is the current situation we are faced with AMC right now. Now, this is of course a very, very good thing because Again, it shows how strong AMC is. So what we're likely to be looking at with this is of course, like he says, again, a snowball effect. So what we understand is that when short sellers cover, we see the price of course going up. And when the price goes up, this now forces a new batch of short sellers to of course cover, and that pushes the price up even higher and higher and higher, and eventually of course, keep on going all the way up, and of course, creates a snowball effect. Now also bear in mind, if the short squeeze were to happen, obviously people will not be selling at $7, at $9, at $10. People are gonna be selling at 100, 1,000, 10,000. Comment down below at what price you guys are going to be selling at if AMC squeeze, or when AMC squeezes, because that is of course a very important question. And when you understand that, of course you understand what sort of movement we are going to be seeing from AMC and so that is of course very very good and again like I said this is only going to mature for the week we're only going to see this actually bring up more fundamentals and more catalysts and again see a lot of volume come in because of this so I'm very very excited about this and I do think that this is definitely going to be affecting the price of AMC throughout this week as well is why I said you know in terms of seeing more upwards move from, from AMC right now despite how the candle of course ended on Friday. If you take a look, look, look at the next news is from This Is Orlando. So he talked about flow is hedging for a big upside move. $7 is where gamma flips. A lot of low delta institutional volume back in January, 2021. Same thing happened last week. Let's take a trip back in time to, to the end of Jan. Look at 129 and 25 options chain back then. Of course, like I said, all of these tweets will be down in the description if you guys want to take a look for yourself. But what he's saying, of course, is $7 is where the gamma flips. So if we are able to get above $7, we are looking at a huge upside move for AMC. And coincidentally, it's also where my zone resides, 687 and 703. I do think if you are able to get above that, there are areas that will just push AMC. And if we can see AMC go even stronger, you know, there is of course still zones in between, but this time the difference is between that there are also fundamentals mixed in with this. So we could easily see these zones at 762, 772, at 824 and 884 being broken. And so when you bear all of this in mind, you know, there's a lot of good upside movement for AMC right now. Going into this week, we already have the potential gamma flip at $7. We have type three squeeze rating. All in all, there's a lot of good news. If we take a look at the shares available for borrow to AMC as well, we're looking at right now only 2,000 shares available at 385.2%. Now, bear in mind, the cost of borrow is only going to keep getting expensive as we go throughout the week, as we go through the next few days, next few weeks, next few months. And so again, these hedge funds are gonna be finding them more and more difficult in order to be finding shares to be shorted against AMC, at least real shares of AMC. What they of course need to do is of course create more synthetics, but that we know is gonna create a lot more trouble for them. And so the cost of borrow is only gonna be increasing. And when you take a look at AMC right now, and you bear in mind type three squeeze rating, we talk about the gamma flip, we talk about how little shares they are, and not only that, how expensive they are. So many catalysts is adding up for AMC right now and really showing you know how well AMC is going 
going to do. So when, again, taking a look at AMC, even though the candle ended like this, even though the technical analysis normally dictates a bearish move from coming in, which again, we also put that into perspective, is the potential break below the 596 and coming into test at this zone of 546 and 547. But we have so much fundamentals that when fundamentals are strong enough and these are important fundamentals which they are they easily trump technical analysis and they can bring the price of amc up anyway guys comment down below what you guys think i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did make sure to press the like and subscribe button down below and i'll catch you guys next time